the Renaissance, the era that bridged the Middle Ages and the modern era. Today, we will learn of its beginning, what valuable things emerged from this time, and how it ended. Renaissance is French for rebirth. This movement took place between the 14th to the 17th century, following the Dark Ages. The Dark Age was a time of war, pandemics, famine, and ignorance. In contrast, the Renaissance was the revival of European culture, politics, and economy. This was possible with global exploration, which opened doors to new lands and cultures to the European commerce. It was the rebirth of philosophy, literature, art, and science. This era was filled of great thinkers, innovators, brilliant scientists, and talented artists. The Renaissance first emerged in Florence, Italy, which then spread to other Italian states. This is because Florence was absolutely wealthy and was able to support this movement. Great wealth was needed to support artists, innovators, scientists, along with their equipment. The Medicis, an Italian bourgeois family, ruled over Florence for over 60 years and were great supporters of the Renaissance movement because of their impressive wealth. Humanism. Humanism happened in 14th century in Italy. It promoted the idea that we humans is the center of superior in our own universe which we will embrace our achievements in arts, science, and literature. Because of humanism, a lot of academics think that developments in global trade and finance had an impact on European culture and helped pave the way for the Renaissance. Some of the most well-known and innovative Renaissance thinkers, creators, researchers, and writers include Leonardo da Vinci, who painted the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, Titian created the portraits of Pope Paul III and Charles I, as well as this painting entitled Venus and Adonis. This painting depicts a touching image of Venus trying to stop her lover from going out to hunt, afraid that he might die. Michelangelo was an Italian sculptor, painter, and architect. He created the iconic statue of David. Also, William Shakespeare, who is England's famous playwright and known for his sonnets and works like Romeo and Juliet. Galileo Galilei, an Italian astronomer, physicist, and engineer who used telescope in a novel way to characterize Saturn's rings and Jupiter's moons. René Descartes was a French philosopher and mathematician and is considered the father of modern philosophy. He's famous for creating one of philosophy's famous sayings, I think, therefore, I am. And lastly, Thomas Hobbes, an English philosopher famous for his book entitled Leviathan, which discussed his political views on society. During Renaissance, there were many connections between science, art, and building. In reality, the seamless fusion of various academic disciplines was unprecedented at that time, such as Filippo Bernolisi, an architect himself who designed enormous buildings with vast domes. While in scientific discoveries, Galileo and Descartes introduced a fresh perspective on astronomy and mathematics, and Copernicus claimed that the sun was the center of the solar system. On the other hand, realistic and naturalistic styles characterized Renaissance painting, true to life representation of people and objects was a goal of artists. They added depth to their art using strategies like perspective, shadows, and light. Another element that painters strove to include in their works was emotions, such as Da Vinci's painting The Mona Lisa and The Last Supper, and the statue of David by Michelangelo. Europeans traveled the oceans to gain a better understanding of their surroundings. The age of discovery was a time when several significant exploration was conducted. Voyagers set out on global exploration missions. Famous journeys were taken by Ferdinand Magellan, a first European to cross the Pacific Ocean, Christopher Columbus, an Italian explorer who made four trips across the Atlantic Ocean from Spain, and Amerigo Vespucci, an Italian merchant and explorer who named the New World America. 
During the Renaissance, Europeans were influenced by humanism to challenge the function of the Roman Catholic Church. People started closely examining and criticizing religion as they knew it as more people learned to read, write, and understand ideas. Additionally, the printing press made it possible for texts like the Bible to be quickly copied and extensively read for the first time by the people themselves. The Protestant Reformation, a revolutionary movement that separated the Catholic Church, was led by a German monk named Martin Luther in the 16th century. He questions the compatibility of certain church customs with the principles of the Bible. As a result, Protestantism, a brand new branch of Christianity, emerged. Scholars argue that several interrelated reasons contributed to the decline of the Renaissance. The Italian peninsula had experienced multiple wars by the end of the 15th century, a period of economic downturn, and a cut on the amount of money that affluent benefactors could spend on the arts were also caused by the shifting trade routes. All these advances in development in sciences, arts, and way of thinking changed the world and led to a new way of life. The innovations of this era helped society progress forward, and the new style of art produced other ways one could express themselves. It is safe to say man achieved great things during this period.